Okay, I'm officially live. Okay, there goes the counter. I feel like I have to announce it every time. The people who watch these back, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> that you have to sit through the first 30 seconds of me being like super awkward. What is that piece of hair doing? Okay. If they could stay back there. Hello, everybody. You put some chapstick on because I don't even want to deal with that at all. Let me make sure my phone is turned down too. How has everybody's sales been for today? I sold one thing. I got an offer for $10 on a dress I have listed at $25 on eBay, and I just countered her $15. So let's hope she accepts. I paid five bucks for the dress, so I'm like 10 and low low. Um, hello everybody. So we're a minute in. I'll start the haul soon. It's not a lot. <laughs> Thank you so much, Rosario, for your hair compliment. I appreciate it. No sales today for me, but overall January hasn't been too bad for me. I've had one sale. Yeah, just one sale. I sold a fossil belt for 15 bucks, including shipping on Mercari. That's it for today. I'm happy January hasn't been too bad for you, though. <clears throat> Hello, my good sis, Tara Gay Nicole. Um, sales have been A. I got an offer for 15 on Michael Michael Kors Cardigan. LOL took it. It was a pins fine. Yes, I would have took that offer, too, for sure. Thank you so much, Julia. I washed my hair today, and I twisted the front, and then the rest I just put Cantu in. Um... So, yeah, you know, she's looking pretty full. She's looking pretty bouncy, uh, voluminous. You know, she's giving you all types of life right now. Not going to lie, I did want to cut my hair for like half a second, but we're not going to do that because it took me <laughs> way too long to grow my hair out. So, yeah, we're not going to do that. Okay, everybody's here. Hello. I have water in my cup, lemon water to be specific. So, yeah, because I gotta stay hydrated. Yeah, I'm not gonna cut it. I, I've cut my hair so many times, and I just, I really wanna cut my hair, and I wanna shave my sides, and I wanna dye it blonde so badly because I did that before, and it was so cute, and I just missed that. It was a good time. It was a really good hair phase. Hello, Amber. Um. Okay, so we're gonna start. It's really not a lot. I spent... I can grab my coup not my coupon, my uh my receipt for you guys. I bought this for a dollar from Goodwill. It's like a Bath and Body Works box. I don't know. I put my receipts in it, and then at the end of the month, I put my receipts in a bigger folder. I think I spent 60 bucks, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I spent $60 and I got a shirt for myself that was $18. <laughs> Oh, yeah, my thrift store had a shirt for $18. Yes, they did. Motherfuckers. Sorry if you have children around, but that's just... It was a new attack. Free people shirt. Is it over here? I'll show you guys that first. Because it should be in my pile. I was going to put it on, but I was just too lazy. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. <sighs> so, yeah, I paid $18 for this shirt. What the fuck? It's new at Tags, though. Free people, extra small. So free people, as far as I'm concerned, they don't have plus size. I don't... Do they have plus size? I don't think they do. But this is an extra small. And if you watched my um, vlog thrift haul, I had, like, showed this up to Devin. And I was like, this has got to be, like, what, 24 inches across? Like, I am a nerd. Who just says that? Who just does that? But I knew it was going to fit me. And it does. So it's really cute. It has this, uh, what is this? Like tutu material. I'm like drawing a blank. Chiffon. No, this is not chiffon. Lace. Is it just lace? Sorry, I'm drawing a blank. But it has this Swiss dot. And it is so cute. It's pink. And it has one layer. And then it has just a little added piece in the front. But yeah, it fits me. Extra small. Tool. Yes, I think tool is the word. Thank you so much. I'm like chiffon lace. What is this tool? Um, I'm so happy it fits me. 
If it didn't fit me, I was just going to resell it. I mean, I knew I could at least get my $18 back bare minimum, especially because it's new with tags. They had a black one too, but uh, the black one was also $18 and I wasn't trying to make that commitment, but I'm going on vacation end of April and I really want to take that with me. Let me read some of the chat. Um, yes, blonde. I love blonde hair. I wish, but we're not going to do that. I made three random sales yesterday, lol, but January has been rough otherwise. I'm happy you made those three. Listen, a sale is a sale is a sale. January has been rough for me too. I'm still not at $1,000. <laughs> and my goal is to be at $1,000 by the 15th because then that puts me on track to do two grand a month and I'm fine with that. But I'm not even at a thousand this month and it's fine though because I've not been spending money really like I bought that $18 shirt and I bought me a little like five dollar purse but I have really like not been spending money so hello Melissa my hair is in a weird growing spot and it's annoying I hate that I've been through that so many freaking times it is the worst um I'm happy you could catch me live. Oh, thank you guys for the hair compliments. You guys are so sweet. Hello, Hattie Prude, Prude, Prude Home. Prude Home. I'm just going to say Prude Home. And I'm happy you could catch me live as well. Um, my Salvation Army had a new attack. Free people this week for $30. Wasn't even that cute. They see that tag and it's just like the price skyrockets. And I get it. But it's always like y'all got this for free. And then, um, what is her name? 111, I think. 111. I don't, I forget her name. But she posted this thing today and it said something like, something about this technology, I think, that can read tags that Goodwill's about to start using. Especially since they have like, you know, Goodwill, Shop Goodwill. They have online stores. They have boutiques. And it's just like, y'all are doing too much. Y'all get this for free. And I think they're like trying to get into the reseller game, Goodwill is. But it's like, aren't y'all supposed to be a place where people can get like affordable secondhand clothing? Why are y'all trying to really flip these clothes for like high profits? That doesn't, like it's not adding up. Do you see what I'm saying? Do you, mm, you see when you look at your mission statement and the reason for your store and then we see your prices, how two plus two is not equaling four, you know? You see what I'm saying? So Goodwill's been fucking tripping. That's why I don't even go in there. And then they be having trash stuff. My thrift store, they've always been tripping. They're not a Goodwill. It's like three of them in Ohio. And I just have to know if they find a Kooji sweater, it's going to be $100. You know, I just have to expect those things. But I can get some cheap items. Um, but it's just like, why? Like thrift stores, I think they think it's all resellers. It's not. A lot of people in the thrift stores literally cannot afford to shop anywhere else. So it's like, what is the disconnect? I'm going on a tangent. Um, and past year January has always been my worst month of the year by far. No way is this month record breaking. But I am beating January 2018, so I'm taking that as a win. I'm happy you're beating last year's. I'm beating last year's too. But that's only because I really wasn't like full-time reselling. Um, it's nice that January has been your worst month though because... It makes me feel better about myself. <laughs> uh, I'm happy you're liking these back-to-back -back videos. They take a lot of work, but it's really fun. Um, I'm supposed to film a video tonight, my What's Old video for tomorrow. So hopefully, I mean, the What's Old video is going to be up tomorrow, but I just don't know if I'm going to film it tonight or tomorrow. I had 17 sales, so... <sighs> I'm just hoping February is better. I'm... A lot's going on in February, so I'm just hoping February's better for sale for sales. Um, Empty Hanger just uploaded a video. Don't click out of my video and go watch hers. You can wait. <laughs> I totally agree with you about Goodwill. I've been seeing Goodwill accounts win the posh contest too. That is some grimy <laughs> that ain't even right. Like, and what are they gonna do? Shop on Poshmark and flip it on their account, or are they gonna like buy stuff for themselves? <laughs> Maybe they're trying to open up more of those Goodwill boutiques. Probably. And our boutique is so overpriced. So overpriced. Oh, oh, thank God they don't know any other brands. I like my thrift store, they they're catching on. I know their pricers be back there with their phones out on eBay and shit, you know. 
it's it's just the you know it's like why wouldn't you be y'all trying to make money but that's not what good goodwill is supposed to be about so i'm happy a lot of you guys are catching me live for the first time i appreciate that thank you for spending some of your monday afternoon to come chat with your good sis the Wilton Magnolia. Hi, Brenda. Selling more since I found someone to list on eBay for me. I'm happy you found somebody to list on eBay for you. It is so rough cross-listing to eBay. I just can't. I can cross-list a Mercari and Poshmark to eBay. Oh, God, it just takes forever. It takes forever. I'm just not that fast at it yet. Um, okay, so I did not. Okay, I bought this from shopgoodwill.com. Look, while I'm talking, and they ripped my damn mouth out for it, too. Uh, it's new attacks to Hari, and I should not have paid this much for it. That's because I bought this, like, months ago. You know, you're a reseller. You learn. You start paying less for items. Uh, but it's a size 4, new attacks, $168. And it's just this small, like, you guys can see all that detail. It's, like, kind of fringe. It's all textured. But it's a really cute dress. It'll sell. I'll at least get my money back. Uh you're off for MLK Day? Do you, uh, what do you do? My friend's off too. She's a mail carrier. I'm at Walmart walking down the aisles. <laughs> Brenda, I cannot with you. <laughs> I just got a job at shopgoodwill.com. So excited. That is really cool. And you probably have, well, are you a reseller? Because then, you know, you already have knowledge about how to price stuff. Sorry, why am I looking at my phone? Look, distracted, squirrel. Um, thank you so much, Tara and Nicole. And she has a channel, and it is so good. You guys should definitely go subscribe to her. And I was watching before I went live. I was watching El Ducho Denali's new uh, thrift haul. She has a really good YouTube YouTube channel. It's all it's pretty much all thrift hauls. But Denali's new, so I'm pretty sure she'll start making, like, other stuff. This is, like, no shade. Nobody take that the wrong way. I love Denali. But it's all Ben's hauls, but they're amazing. Her and Street Savvy's Ben's hauls, I love them. Um, I'm going to tell Denali, though, that we're waiting on some what solds, and we're waiting, you know, on an office tour and all of that. We need more. But I love Denali. She's super sweet. She helps me with all my eBay stuff. Um, this is a cabbie dress. I showed this in my vlog. Yeah, I was looking up souls for it in the store. I paid three bucks for it. So, I mean, that's really not high, but it's older tag cabbie. So I just wanted to be sure that, you know, I could make a decent amount of money on it. So it'll probably, I mean, minimum sell for at least 20. I also got this and this is a high end luxury sleepwear company. I looked online and that's what their website said. So listen, don't quote me on the quality or anything like that. That's just what their website said. Uh, Lusome every day. Both of the listings on eBay sold. So it has like a hundred percent sell through rate and it's called the Alexia 90. So I'll probably be able to find a stock photo really easily. It's a short sleeved, a light blue like nighty, yeah, a night dress. Um, and this shit was probably like $75 on their website because their regular t-shirts are like 50 bucks. Um, so I figured that was a good pickup. <sighs> love El Ducho. Yes, I love Denali. She makes such good bin videos. I wish I, I should go to our bins more because we have bins. They're just in Canton, and Canton is, like, not around the corner. Um, and I'm just not a big fan of driving, so. Um, Mercari has been picking up for me. I find lots of plus size items sell faster for me. Yes, for sure. The average size of the U.S. woman is, I think, a 16. So pick up plus size. A lot of us are big, and us big bitches want cute clothes, too, okay? I look on Poshmark all the time. I was looking for snow pants. There are no snow pants on Poshmark in my size. There are like eight pairs. There's a pink pair that are vintage and they're tagged a size 16 and they're so cute. Um, but we'll see if the seller answers my questions because they didn't answer the last person who asked a question. Cause I would buy them right now because I really want to go sledding. Somebody asked how cold is it here? Where is my weather at? Outside is nine degrees. And the low is negative two. 
Um, midnight, it's supposed to be zero, one, and two a.m. It's supposed to be negative one, negative two. So mm, I probably have to leave the heat on a little high tonight. <laughs> I usually turn it down to a 66. I usually, yeah, I usually sleep with the heat at 66, but our house has, like, such piss-poor insulation. Oh, God, it's cold. <laughs> I don't want to think about that. I drive an hour and a half one way to the closest bins to me. See, I cannot do that. And I know Savannah drives super far to her bins, too. And I just, whew, I can't. You had a size 16 Lane Bryant moto jacket. It sounds really cute. You should tag me in it. Don't tag me in it. I don't need to spend no money. Don't tag me in it. <laughs> I need to save my money for real. Um, this is Chico size three, which is, I think a zero is a small, a one, no, a zero. Yeah, zero is a small, a one is a medium, and a two is a large. So I think a three is an extra large. I think it's an embroidered long sleeve jacket. I think it's super cute, button front. I love the details. If it was my size, I would have definitely kept it. You know what? It might fit me while I'm playing. If it's an extra large, it might. Maybe I'll try that on. Uh, but that's super cute. I got this, which doesn't have a size, so I'm just going to have to compare it to my other coats. But it's like, I am pretty sure this is vintage. This tag looks super old. It's papillion. It's petite. I hate the shoulder pads in this. But I don't have a seam ripper, so I'm not going to destroy the coat. Whoever buys it can destroy the coat, but it would be 10 times better without these balky-ass uh, shoulder pads. But it's this purple double-breasted coat, and it's like, like furry, if you guys can see that. Purple, black, and white. It's super cute. And yeah, it has these really deep pockets. I was really scared to reach in there to see if anything was in there. Check your pockets. I sold somebody one of my old Brahmins and there was candy stuck to the lining. That wasn't fun to deal with. But yeah, that was not a fun case to deal with at all. But yeah, check your pockets and all of that before you send stuff out. Because you never know what's going to be in there. Ah, getting hot. Yes, I love that coat. I have um, a teddy bear coat for sale, and the other one I sold, sold in six hours. So if you see any teddy bear coats, definitely pick them up. They sell super quick. Well, mine sold super quick. <clears throat> I put back a tour to get this Calvin Klein instead. Hashtag amateur. Both of those brands are good, and I would say their resale value is probably around the same. Yeah, I would say so. I sold a Torrid vest for $25. I don't know how. <clears throat> Sorry, I had something stuck in my throat. I don't know how I did that because I honestly thought it was going to sell more around like 18. Um, not the craziest gap, 18 to 25, but I mean, 25 plus 649 shipping for a Torrid vest. To me, I wouldn't pay that. Listen, I priced it like that. I personally wouldn't pay that. But, you know, something is worth whatever somebody's willing to pay for it. So, you willing to pay that? I'm going to let you. Uh, this is French Connection. They sell expensive stuff. Really expensive stuff. I've seen some of their stuff at TJ Maxx, though. So, it's like, hmm. Makes me wonder. Uh, it's a black dress. If you, if you can see. Yeah, it's fitted. It's really cute, though. And it's similar to, like, the BCBG dresses. It's similar to, like, I don't know how to pronounce it. I've said it before. Her, her, leg, I'm not going to, I'm not going to embarrass myself like that. Y'all know who I'm talking about, though. It's, like, H-E-R-V, the designer. And they make dresses like that. And their last name is Ledger or something like that. But that really cute dress. I got a Calvin Klein coat. I feel like minimum this will sell for $20, which, I mean, even that is good. Hervé Layer. Okay. La okay. I'm going to look it up on YouTube and try to see if I can find, like, a documentary or something saying it because I have no idea how to pronounce it. And I embarrass myself every time. Uh, this is Calvin Klein size 14, extra large. And it is just a red coat. It has this really nice like detail up here this is way bigger than i've ever seen a lot of these 
and it has a really cute belt. When you tie it, it kind of looks like a robe. When I tied it for my cover shot, I haven't listed it yet, but it's a really cute coat. It has three like snap buttons in the front and I got it for a decent price. So I figured why not? And then the last item I got, yeah, well, I got this purse for myself. Somebody had put it back before they checked out. So it was just like sitting there. And I don't think it's a brand or anything. Actually, no, it does have a brand on it. So I guess we'll see what brand this is. And uh, Amanda Blue. Okay, so it's Amanda Blue. I don't know anything about that, but it's a cute purse. I really like the shape. It's just square, gray, black top handle. I thought it was just really cute, sleek, and I like the inside. You could throw a notebook in there, your phone. Um, yeah, just a nice, cute little purse for me. Five bucks. And then the last item I got is White House Black Market. I picked up this, this same blazer, but in cream. And I showed that in my last thrift haul. And I seen this there with that blazer last weekend. And I was like, I don't need both of the blazers. So I only bought the cream one. So when I was there Saturday, this was still there. And I purchased this one. Really cute though. They retail for $150. And it's a 2017 blazer. Yeah, 2017 blazer. And thank you so much, Julia. Thank you so much. Um, it's a 2017 blazer. And they retail for $150. I have mine listed at $50 and it seems like they're selling around that, you know, 30 to $60 range. So I know I'll get a decent return on investment. Um, all right. Am I listing the coats on Posh or eBay? Oh, you're fine. Even if somebody did ask it, you're fine. I list everything everywhere. So it goes to Poshmark first and then it gets cross listed to Mercari and eBay. I'm heavily debating stopping listing on e on Mercari, but I just made two sales there this weekend. But I just, I really don't make a lot of sales there, like at all. I really don't. So, I mean, I make a decent amount to where I guess it's still worth it when you look at the time spent. But compared to Poshmark and eBay, like Mercari is nowhere near them for me. And it sucks because... I price my items. I feel like at decent prices, I offer free shipping on everything. And yeah. Thank you, Cece. I love that. Oh, sorry. I read the wrong name. Um, <laughs> but Cece, you don't pick up Torrid anymore. I definitely understand. I've definitely been burnt on some Torrid pieces before to where I've made very minimal profits. A lot of their shit is hit or miss. It really is. They're owned by Hot Topic, so some of the quality is questionable. If you wear Hot Topics clothes, you know what I'm talking about. I've been shopping at Hot Topic since middle school, and they're owned by the same person. And yeah, some of the quality is questionable. I feel like the price point is too high, and a lot of this stuff goes on sale for a reason. But if you can get it cheap, if you can get it under a dollar, I'd definitely pick it up. Because, I mean, even at $10.15, I think it's worth it. But that's me personally. Um, yeah, I think Tor does sell fast on Mercari, especially because I feel like plus size, that sounded weird. I feel like plus size does better on Mercari. Um, I just don't like that on Mercari. I just can't, uh, keep sharing and whatnot. I would love to be able to share to everyone and not try to follow people and get more people watching. Yeah, I hate that. I don't really follow anybody on there. I know a couple people follow me, but that's really just for like buyers. Like if you follow somebody, I guess it's supporting them, but like, I can't share your listings. I can't really help you in any way. So I don't know. It does suck. I always, I do 10 price drops a day on Mercari. And when you do that price drop, it boosts the item back up to the top of the search feed for that brand or whatever. So I do that. Um, and sometimes I get a sale. Sometimes I don't more often than not. I don't, but sometimes I do get sales over there. Like I sold an $18 loft skirt with a flaw with free shipping. And I'm just like, what? And then I sold a fossil belt for $15 with free shipping. I have that fossil belt listed on Poshmark for five bucks. So it's just like, what? Um, 
but Mercari's weird. It is so weird. It's it's so weird. It's so hit or miss too. Um, yeah, I've had a few low ballers on Mercari as well. It sucks. I just hate low ballers in general. I'm never offended. But it's like, damn, you got me excited. I thought I was going to make a sale. I seen the offer notification on my phone. And now I'm sitting here lost and confused. Um, can we tell Mercari to figure out the shipping? Why do we have to wait three days to ship? What do you mean wait three, three days to ship? I ship the next day, sometimes the same day. They deactivated all my listings because I haven't been active. Damn, Stephanie, I am sorry. Mercari did you like that. They really tried to do you dirtball. But maybe that's good because if you're not active on there, then you probably weren't going to delete things that sold. Um, every time I'm about to give up on Mercari, I end up making a sale. That is where I'm at right now. I'm, like, on the edge of giving up, but I keep getting sales. So it's like, hmm. Reading the chat, do I list items lower than Posh on eBay? Yes. <laughs> yes. Much, much lower. Much lower. Usually, well, not much, much lower, but usually like $5 lower. I do charge shipping. Usually like 5 to $10 lower. Um, there's a lot of stuff I've been cross-listing to eBay that I literally just don't want anymore. So it's like, Listed at $10, $15. I put 10 items on auction today for $0.99. Cents. Um, but I do list lower on eBay than Poshmark. People on eBay, I feel like people on eBay don't want to make you an offer. I really feel like they, they want to see the price and they just want to pay that and be done with it. So I try to price really competitively on eBay and I feel like it does help my sales over there. Uh, I wish Posh would deactivate sellers who aren't active. <laughs> I do too. Um, would you make more money just cross-listing for others to Mercari than you make in personal sales? I make more money cross-listing for people than I do on Mercari every month, if that's what you're meaning. Now, I don't make more money cross-listing for people than I do than all of my sales. Um, but I do make more money cross-listing to Mercari for people than I make on Mercari every month. Yeah, for sure. But there are, I mean, there are, I know people who do good on Mercari. It's just, I mean, tough. Can we change the post date on Mercari? It's usually post dated for the later date and my post won't ship. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry. I didn't know what you meant the first time. I have no idea about that. I, I never look at the post date. I don't even know what that is. I, as soon as they send me that label, I print that shit off and smack it on a box. And as soon as I'm ready to leave or Devin leaves, I give it to him. I've never had any problems with it. Um, I don't know. I'll have to look at my next sale from Mercari. Because <laughs> I've never looked at a post date. Maybe I'm being reckless. Uh, I do not cross list to eBay. I cross list to Mercari. And I can cross list from eBay to Poshmark. So... If you want somebody to cross-list to eBay for you, or if you want me to cross-list to eBay for you, your best bet, unfortunately, would be to list to eBay first and then have me cross-list to Poshmark for you. Um, but then again, I think cross-listing to Poshmark is fairly fast. So then at that point, you might just want to do it yourself to save money. Um... Yeah, it would be worth it for me just to cross list to people to Mercari because I cross list for some people who have great sales on Mercari. Uh, I just don't. I don't know if it's my items, my pricing. I'm not quite sure. I haven't quite figured Mercari all the way out. Just being active on Mercari, like being active on Posh Help with sales, I would just assume so. That's what I've been doing just because I figure – they have an algorithm just like everything else. And if you're active, it's probably going to help your sales. That's just what I assume, though. I don't know. Don't quote me on it. I usually post the shit and leave, but I do drop 10 prices every day since they give me 10 price drops a day. And you only have to do 5%. And I'm not, you know, if somebody sends me an offer for 5% less on anything in my closet, I'm yeah, 99.9% going to take it. So I do those all the time. 
Uh, I have to request a new label on Posh all the time. But my post office will not take packages unless it's dated the same day. Wow. I'm, oh, I'm sorry. I do not have to deal with those problems at my post office. I love both of my clerks. I literally just set myself there and go. And they handle it from there. I love them to death. They're like two really super nice, sweet people, though. Um, I am really bored and don't want to work. So what I'm going to do is go through some of the questions that people asked me yesterday on my Instagram. If you don't follow me there, it's the same name as here. Some of the questions that people ask me, though, would be better as, like, videos. So if something like that comes up, I'm just going to skip it. And, yeah, I'll maybe do a video on it. Can you do a video on how you photo men's ties? Your pics are great. Thank you. I never know how to roll them to look nice. Thank you. My first thank you was a thank you to you for the compliment. Um, I started – what am I talking about? I – I guess learn how to do my photos for men's ties by looking at other people's ties, I guess. Yeah. I was looking through solds and just seeing how people set up their ties, trying to get an idea. You know, if you set yours up that way and it sells, then maybe mine will. But I really just, I take the, I don't have a tie near me because that's not a normal thing to just have a tie around you. Uh, I take the long part and put it through the little, because I don't know any of these words because I don't <laughs> wear ties, through the little loop at the bottom that you're supposed to put it through. And then I, I'm trying to think. Okay, so you have the tie, the triangle's there. Yeah, and then I just roll from the, the end part to the triangle. That doesn't make sense. I wish I had a tie near me, but I don't. I'm so sorry. Maybe I'll bring that up in another video. In my next q and I'll do a demo or something. Uh, how do I ship ties? I fold them, and they go in a plastic bag, and then they go in a poly mailer. Um, my ties, all of my ties are silk, but my ties, I don't know, I guess you would say are wrinkle-proof. I wouldn't say any of my ties have wrinkles. Or you could just, I would just, yeah, just fold it up, put it in a bag. I wouldn't overthink it, for real. If the, <coughs> if the buyer gets it and they want to iron it or steam their tie, let them do it. But I wouldn't overthink it. Yeah. Don't be worried about it getting wrinkled. My post office is horrible. We'll argue with you about everything. Yeah. Some people look for an argument and you probably got some bad clerks. <laughs> A lot of the post office employees hate their jobs, though. And it. They're making good money, but I can't understand why some of their some of them hate their jobs. Like our post office, the people around here are just like so like entitled, and our post office people deal with that a lot. So that would suck. Um, my best friend's a carrier, so I feel for the carriers because she'd be going through hell and high waters, especially freaking walking through all of this snow. She gets off work and she's so tired. It is ridiculous. You're <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm the tie reselling queen. I, I don't even know if I've sold 10 yet. Do I talk about it that much? Um, please don't get that impression. <laughs> They're just, I mean, if you get them for 50 cents, why not sell them for 10, $15? I only buy them if they're silk. I think they're, you know, a good flip. Uh, okay, so, yeah, I'm going to go through some of these. Uh, Connie's Hanger asked me your strategy for calculating what to charge for shipping on eBay. I know this is a big question, and this is one of the questions I had before I started on eBay. I was so confused about the shipping. So I am going to do a video about shipping on eBay and probably a shipping on Mercari video too because I know some people will get confused about that. I'll probably timestamp the video for both of them. So if you're actually interested in it, you can just go to that part of the video. But right now I do flat rate shipping. I charge $4.99 if it's under a pound and I charge $6.99. No, I charge $7.99 if it's over a pound. Wait, no, what am I talking about? I'm just going to type it down. $4.99 if it's under a pound, just in case anybody else wants to do what I do. And I do $7.99 if it's over a pound. And that is for everything. $4.99 is first class. $7.99 is priority. Um, I'll do a video, so maybe more of this will make sense for people who don't ship on eBay. Poshmark really has spoiled us. Um, 
somebody asked, do I ever buy from outlets? I do not. That is a far drive. And you usually have to spend, you know, more per item to sell to, yeah, to buy items to flip. I'm not trying to deal with that. I don't even do it. No flat rate. I don't use any flat rate boxes. I use priority boxes and poly mailers, but I do, I guess, flat rate shipping because I charge the same for under a pound and over a pound. Um, but I've heard of people who use flat rate, but I feel like a lot of people who use flat rate sell jeans and I don't really sell jeans. So yeah, I just do that. Um, it's worked so far. It's a good system. I was doing calculated shipping before and it just sucked weighing everything before, you know, that was just too much. So we're just going to do the $4.99, $7.99. Um, a lot of the questions are about shipping and eBay. I'm not surprised about that though, because I was super confused about it before I started. Um, somebody asked me how much is a good average full-time monthly income off reselling. And that really just depends on you. Like whatever, I would really sit down and write all your bills out and figure out how much you need to spend on like inventory every month to replenish what you sold and you know what your bills are and just kind of go from there i don't think there is a set in stone good average full-time monthly income you know i'm not even at a thousand dollars this month and there are lots of full-time people who are over 1500 this month who are probably over 2000 this month i'm not them i'm not there um what I make is good for me in my situation and for my bills. I will be 100% transparent, 100% completely honest that I more than likely would not be able to full-time resell to work from home if I did not have a partner. So, you know, I have my boyfriend. That is definitely a help. If you live with somebody, that's definitely going to help you if you have a partner. So I have a boyfriend. So that helps, you know, and it's definitely nice to have, you know, extra financial help. But I would just really look at all of your bills. You know, living in Ohio is really cheap. I will say that. I know some of you guys live in some really expensive ass areas and living in Akron is not expensive at all. Not to me, at least compared to what some of y'all be telling me what your gas and electric and rent and all that shit is. Living in Akron is not that expensive. So thankfully, you know, if I make $1,500, <laughs> <laughs> if I make $1,500 this month and I spend $500 on inventory and I only have $1,000 left over and then I have electric and gas and food and insurance, you know, I have renter's insurance, my car insurance, my cell phone, my protection on my cell phone. I have Netflix, I have Hulu, I have Funimation, I have Crunchyroll, you know, all of that shit. You really just got to go through all the fucking shit you spend money on and figure out if you can survive off of that. There's no good average. I feel like people look for average averages to like, I don't know, try to compare their, themselves to other people. And it's, you know, it's whatever works for you. It's not, it's not like a puzzle piece. There's no correct answer to that type of thing. Um, how do I know what type of brands to send a thread up? I use their payout estimator. It's on their website. I have a link. I can, I think I can drop their link. Where is it at? Payout estimator copy. Okay. I use that. Bam. There you go. That's how I decide. I look up brands on there. <laughs> How you dear? <laughs> yeah, you're pretty late. We're 38 minutes in. I'll probably got to end soon. Uh, but I use the thread up payout estimator for any brand that I decide to send in. You type in the brand style. I think that's it. Just the brand and the style. Maybe you type in something else and it gives you like average prices and all of that. It's great. Use it. It's a resource for you to use. So if you send something in and you're surprised about the payout, it's not too much. You can do too much after that, unless you send in a Lux box and then you can change the price. I don't know if you can change the price if you send in a regular one. Uh, living in Michigan is pretty cheap too, but the brands I can source are iffy. That's how I feel. I feel like the brands I source are real like, mm, I guess, mm, I guess I need inventory. So I'll take this, but it's cheap. It's so cheap to live here, you know, so cheap. So it's, it's a no brainer. Even if, I mean, even if we moved to Cleveland, it would still be like not super expensive, but 
it's going to be more expensive than it is here. We were going to move to Columbus. Columbus is expensive. No, ma'am. I'll stay my ass here. Right now. <laughs> um, okay. Does anybody else have any questions before I go? I've been here for 40 minutes. You guys have kept me company. I really appreciate it. I showed you guys what? An eight piece hole? I think so. Wow. I talk too fucking much. Um, does, anybody, does anybody else have any questions before I go, though? This was fun, though. It's nice talking to you guys, answering questions. I try to help people when I can, you know. If I have a little bit of knowledge that somebody else doesn't have. I heard a quote. I don't know who posted it, but they said, like, you never want to be the smartest person in the room because you always want to be able to, like, you know, pick somebody else's brain or ask them questions. And that's so true. Like, so if I have, like, a little tiny inkling of knowledge somebody else doesn't have, y'all can take it. Learn from it. Learn from my mistakes that I publicize. All my bad buys. Me paying me paying $9 for new at Tags Jr.'s items. <sighs> what the fuck? Uh, <laughs> won't make that mistake again. Um, thank you, Yadira. <laughs> Move to California, Lord, no, that rent is too much. Mm -mm. No, ma'am. Mm -mm. mm -mm. Y'all be living in. Ooh, listen, I can't fathom paying eight hundred dollars for rent. So you think about how cheap my rent is, because eight hundred dollars. No, ma'am. You can find definitely eight hundred dollars, a thousand dollar places, fifteen hundred dollar places in Akron, but. When you don't live in the best area, you don't pay that much rent, huh. which is fine with me. <laughs> I'm okay with this snow, honestly. I'm fine with the snow because I work from home, so I don't have to go out there in that. Thank God. Uh, we visited Jersey, and I wasn't too fond of just being there in general, so I don't think I would move there. But we did go to Atlantic City, so I think that might have had a big part to do with everything. But um, thank you guys so much for coming, for spending your Monday night with me. I really appreciate it. There will be a new video up tomorrow, hopefully Thursday. I'm, I want to start a self-care Saturday series where it's like self-care, but a little bit more. Um, I don't know, though. We'll see. We'll see on Saturday. Maybe we'll get, maybe we'll get a self-care Saturday video, but yeah, I'm going to go now. Bye guys. I will see you guys later or on uh, Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Please follow me on Instagram. I'm trying to grow my Instagram, <laughs> but I will see you guys later. Look, now I'm like trying to procrastinate leaving. Do I want to leave? I'm going to leave. Bye guys. <laughs> Enjoy your night. Make lots of sales. Share your closet if you can. And watch some TV. I'm watching Tokyo Ghoul. Sit down too and eat. Feed yourself. <laughs>